What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and Kuro Games gave us a huge surprise yesterday with a live stream giving us a roadmap for the entire next six to seven months. And it follows the CN version of the game exactly to the T. As far as, I mean, not as, as far as times, as far as how long each event lasts, I don't really know. But as far as the events in the order that they received them in CN, it's going to be the same and global, which is actually pretty spectacular. Now, we're not going to watch this entire video because that live stream was about 15 minutes long. There's a lot of things in there that, you know, you might want to watch a lot of cute little things with Lau and so on. Really fun stuff. There's a little tutorial in there from Rexland on how to play Lucio Plume. And, you know, if you want to learn that, you can go ahead and watch the shot to Rexland. But we're just going to skip all the way to the end to where we actually get to the road map. And as you guys can see, full future updates of next half year. So we got gray and blue here, which is going to be the event after Kowloon Metropolis, right? In Kowloon Metropolis, we're going to be getting Lucia Plume, right? And gray and blue, we're going to be getting a little something, something, something. And there's the, there, ah! Oh. So right there, you guys just saw two characters that we're going to be getting. Now, on my JP version of this game, I already actually have these characters. So right here on the right, this is A Vera, a dark healing support. And then we have Dark Kamu, a composite character. This is going to be the first composite character that we're actually going to get. And I got to tell you guys, he is absolutely nuts. So an A Vera is actually really, really cool. We're just kind of going frame by frame here. So you guys get a good look at OA Vera. There we go. Look at her, man. She is so freaking cool and so fun to play. But so is Kamu, man. I'm really looking forward to these characters. And really even for a new player, like especially Kamu here, like this character on, on JP, I actually got for free, right? A free S rank character. They gave a free five-star weapon, the whole bit. It was freaking amazing, guys. Like totally cool. And he is getting a lot done for me, man. I'm using this guy in pain cages over and over and over. He just absolutely murders pain cages unless there's a dark resistance. He is absolutely nuts. Oh, so we'll go ahead and continue. And then we have some skins. Now, I know there's going to be quite a few of you out there that are going to be super, super excited. I mean, you got some skins here now. You got Karenina. You got Lee here in the background. You got Liv. And then we got Alpha, who doesn't even really look like Alpha. But yeah, I got the little Daisy Dukes, the bikini top. I mean, she looking pretty good, right? They, they all look good. I mean, this uniform for Liv looks absolutely, or skin, abs looks absolutely awesome. Like, all these look cool. So that's something else we get to look forward to in that update. And then we have Fern Knight. And this is going to be the update after the Grand Blue. And look who we're going to be getting then. So we're going to be getting S. Rosetta. And S. Rosetta is going to be an insane tank for our support team for Alpha, for our physical team, right? She is going to be godly. And by the way, guys, if you are looking to get the near team in the future, S Rosetta, actually you can get her to double S. You can actually farm for her in Pain Cage in the game. You can actually use her instead of 2B if you're not interested in 2B. You can actually pull for Rosetta, just get her to S rank, and then go ahead and take her to SS from Phantom Pain Cage using the Phantom Pain Cage stars to level her up. And then you can skip 2B, use whatever black cards you're going to use on 2B on A2. Because like I said in previous videos, A2 is the heart and soul of the team. She's the one that really just allows so much damage because of the 70% damage reduction at A3. And Rosetta's got some insane damage reduction herself, physical damage reduction. Then we have Lost Chapter after that. It's actually really cool that they're giving us this roadmap and kind of showing everything that entails. And then look, Q, Q. Oh my God, Q's a 100% physical character, by the way, a composite character, like uh, Kamoi. Kamoi is dark and physical but this girl is all physical so just like kamoi or kamu i kept saying kamoi kamu you can actually use this girl like in pain cage now the thing about composite characters at least at this point in the game and even when they show up in the game we can't use regular constructs with our composite characters which does kind of suck but these characters are so strong and they actually even get a nine percent damage reduction when you're facing certain content they still get it done they're still insane q's freaking awesome too by the way I need to level her up. I just got her memories. And then here we have Chang Yu. Now Chang Yu is going to be our next Ice Elemental character. And the memories that we're going to be getting in the next event in Kowloon Metropolis, this is the, the memories that you're going to be able to farm are actually going to be for him or for Lucia Lose, as I've mentioned in other in my past video. So really interesting. He's an A-ranked character. 
Then we have Fake Ascension. Man, I started my JP count right before this uh, update actually happened. And this is where we're going to get S Luna, the big dog, as far as dark damage. And let me tell you guys, Luna, this girl is nuts. She is so good, so strong, so fun to play, insane range attacks, just crazy. Her ultimate is just nuts. And then now they're going to show us new game modes for the next half of the year so this is actually, so we can actually get an update on new game modes that's going to be coming as well so this is really cool that Kuro Games did this so during the Grand Blue update we're going to be getting this new guild system where we can chat and fight uh, bosses and gain rewards with friends All right you see some of the rewards right here and there's the boss we're going to fight and then we have Fern Knight, where we're actually going to get uh, Rosetta, and we're going to have a new world boss, right? And where the whole server players fight together to win a coding discount and other materials. So you can actually get a coding discount on maybe a coding or a skin that you're actually looking to get. Wow, by fighting this boss right here. Now this is already in JP right here. And in this game mode here, you can actually acquire uh, free construct tickets. Oh yeah, and acquire a lot of experience for your characters. Actually, on my JP account, it's at like a level 81 or 82, and it didn't take near as long in that on that server to get to level 80 as it did my global account because of this game mode right here. This gives you a crap ton of experience. Look at that, there's those construct tickets. And then during Fake Ascension, we got uh, a guide new players, so you know, you're gonna be able to help uh, guide new players, complete tasks together to get rewards. So if you're helping other players do better in the game, maybe you can gain some rewards during the Fake Ascension, which is where we're going to get Luna. And and you see some of the rewards that you're actually going to be able to get from that game mode. That's actually pretty lit, man. Those memory chips right there, that is lit. And these resources you can actually use to farm for memories. We'll talk about that in another video. In fact, I think in the next update, we're actually going to be getting this applied, but don't quote me on that one. I'm not really for sure. Other rewards and events for the next half year. So you have a Kowloon Metropolis seven day sign in, right? This is going to be the next update that we're going to get. And then all these skins, I actually made a video about this not too long ago, showing all these skins. They are really, really beautiful looking skins. Now this is going to interest a lot of players, especially, well, well, all players, right? Free to play are going to love this probably more than anyone because they probably don't have enough black cards for what they want. But uh, see these? These are limited banner construct tickets. You can use these for your s rank characters. You're going to be getting these things for free. 2,500 guys. That is one full multi, 10 tries for an s rank character. That is awesome, man. I actually got this already in JP and yeah, very, very sweet. Then the serum and all the materials. Now this here, you know, Punching, Grey Raven, X GT Racing. Interesting. A little merch. And yeah, yeah. So there's your confirmation right there that Nier Automata will be coming to the game. I've been making some videos about uh, the Nier uh, teams for quite some time now, as far as, you know, how many black cards you got to spend in order to get the characters at the cheapest price. And it's confirmed. They are coming for sure. I knew they would be. And if we follow the same time frame as the end from our time right now in global to the time that Nier Automata shows up, we got about six to seven months from now before the Nier Automata shows up. Now, if they speed up the events in global compared to what they did in CN, it'll come sooner. But if they don't, it's going to be about six months, six to seven months, give or take, uh, before we actually get the Nier Automata. So that gives you an idea of how long you should be saving your black cards. So freaking cool. So freaking cool, man. And then you got Blau. I mean, I'm not going to watch any more of this, but it's she just cutest button. It was really funny and really cool how Curl Games did this. They used her as their narrator. It was, it was actually really awesome. I thought it was funny as hell. If you guys want to watch this, I will put a link to it in the description below if you want to watch it in all of its in 
entirety. It is, it's pretty damn dope, man. So really, really cool that Kuro Games gave us such a nice roadmap. You know, they're letting us know everything that's coming. They're being fully transparent with us. And that's something you don't see a lot from a dev team. It's actually pretty awesome that they are doing that. And something that I want to touch on really quick is in this loft, this is something else that's really freaking amazing. If you click on this thing, you can actually, you can actually go into battle preparations here and it's, it shows Lucia here, but whenever you click on begin mission, you're actually going to be playing with Lucia Plume. And you actually get to fight a boss here using Lucia Plume. It's freaking amazing. So you actually get to test that character out before the event even shows up, before you even pull for her to see whether or not you like her. I mean, obviously, you know, if you're going to uh, wail and you're just pulling for all the characters, it really doesn't matter. Obviously, if you love Lucia, it really doesn't matter. But maybe if you're a player that's just looking, you know, maybe for fun characters to play, maybe you're looking for the ease of characters that you want to play, you can actually play this character to find out. And man, she is awesome, guys. Like, seriously, it's so easy to play Lucia. It's not even funny. 2-3 ping, and then you're going to have a little ice icon that's going to show up where your ultimate normally would be. You'd hit that. You're going to go into ice mode. You're going to do two more three pings, and then you can do your ultima. And then you just do that over and over and over again. It's pretty damn sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a run in the Lost using Lucia Plume. Man, it's so fun. But man, she's such a fun character, by the way. I cannot wait for Calum Metropolis to show up. So let me know how you're all feeling about everything that is coming to the game. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.